What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on NEO stock. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, uh, right after we had this bounce uh, from the golden pocket range, and this range statistically is the most uh, probable range of uh, trend reversal. And I found this range by pulling the Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this top. Because right here in this structure we completed all five waves and this means we can have a retracement. And the retracement usually has a shape of simple zigzag. And for now we have this as our lowest point. But I don't think that uh, we might uh, have a trend reversal from this range. It is still possible, but it is not so probable. And uh, I will show you what should we expect next uh, in my technical analysis. But for now let's continue with the fundamental news. As you can see on your right side uh, we have a lot of red color. Basically we are deeply in red and all of the indexes uh, are in red as well. S&P 500 lost 2.81%, Dow Jones lost about 2.38% and uh, Nasdaq lost about 3.95%. Huge decrease uh, in the price of these indexes. And what uh, is the reason of this massive sell-off? One of the reasons is definitely the Russia-Ukraine crisis and for now we have uh, this news that was published just uh, several hours ago and it says Russia warns Poland, Bulgaria of gas supply cuts on Wednesday. And let me quote to these bullets. Russia demands unfriendly countries to pay for gas uh, in rubles. Russia has threatened to cut off gas unless the demand is met. Kremlin says Gazprom is working on the scheme. Only a few have agreed on the gas for rubles scheme. And let me quote to this. Russian energy giant Gazprom has told Poland and Bulgaria it will halt gas supplies uh, for, from Wednesday in a major escalation of Russia's broader role with the West over its invasion of Ukraine. Poland and Bulgaria would be the first countries to have their gas cut off uh, by Europe's uh, main supply since Moscow started uh, what it calls a military operation in Ukraine on February 24th. The move to cut off suppliers also followed sanctions imposed by Warsaw against Russian individuals and companies. And I have to say that uh, it is unprecedented uh, step, because even in a Cold War period, Soviet Union didn't uh, cut off the supply of uh, natural gas in uh, Europe, and uh, definitely for now it is uh, extremely unbelievable times. And this action might lead uh, to recession in Europe and uh, we might see the recession in the USA right after that. And definitely this means uh, all of the indexes and all of the markets uh, react negatively on this news. And uh, let me show you some good news directly related to NEO. Yesterday on cnvpost.com we have this article that is titled Breaking NEO's 200,000th production vehicle rolls offline. And uh, let me quote you this. NEO saw its 200,000th production vehicle roll off uh, the line today, just one year after it reached its uh, 100,000th milestone. And definitely it is a huge uh, milestone for this company, especially if we will take a look uh, on their previous 100,000th uh, vehicles that was delivered uh, in a matter of three years. And uh, in my opinion, it is a very good sign. But on the other hand, we have uh, this uh, number. Uh, as of March 31st, NEO's cumulative deliveries stood at uh, 192,838 vehicles. This means uh, they delivered uh, 7,162 vehicles from uh, April the 1st till April 25th. This means if we extrapolate uh, this number by the end of month, we will have about uh, 8,594 vehicles that they should deliver in April. But if we compare it with the March deliveries, uh, they delivered almost 10,000 vehicles without 15 uh, units. And this means uh, March to April deliveries decreased by about uh, 1.4 thousand uh, units. 
and definitely it is not the best sign but one of the reasons uh, is definitely the COVID-19 outbreak and let me show you uh, this uh, article we are on motlyfull.com and uh, uh, right here we can see that the company's feet however is falling on deaf ears and uh, the fit is uh, the delivery of uh, 200,000 vehicles. Instead, investors continue to be concerned about the potential of the Chinese government to impose stricter lockdowns uh, in an attempt to prevent the spread of COVID-19 cases. Reuters reported today that most of Beijing's uh, 22 million residents uh, are waiting in line to get tests, seeking to minimize the spread of the disease. Consequently, there are fears of lockdowns that could further affect supply chains or shutter factories hampering production. And definitely it is the major downside potential directly for NEO and they cannot do anything with these rules. So and let me show you another good news related to NEO. Uh, NEO to allow users to have opted to rent a battery to switch to buying one. And on the one hand you might think that it is not the good news. But on the other hand, uh, let me show you right here, new response uh, to why it would allow users to opt out of BAS plan. And uh, let me quote to this. As of now, the number of BAS users who want to opt out of the plan and buy the battery is extremely small, Neo said. And on the one hand, uh, Neo BAS plan is very important for Neo because uh, they can sell their vehicles cheaper and uh, it becomes more affordable for customers. And at the same time, they will have a monthly recurring revenue for these batteries. And uh, definitely it is a good uh, business model. But with this uh, action, they actually increase the number of potential BAS users. And think of it like this. If you want to test this uh, plan, BAS plan, and uh, you don't know whether it will fit uh, your demand or not, you have to just try this mod and then probably you want to switch to a classic mod of this buying. And definitely without this option, a lot of people just buy their NEOs or even uh, buy other, a bit cheaper cars. And uh, this means uh, with this option, in my opinion, NEO will increase uh, its production and deliveries rates. So definitely we have a lot of good news directly related to NEO. And that is why a lot of analysts uh, are still bullish on NEO. We have 17 ratings on tip ranks and uh, 15 of them suggest to buy, 2 to hold and 0 to sell. And the price targets uh, even in the lower end uh, is uh, $28.3. The average price target is uh, $43.01 and the highest price target is $87. This means that even to the average price uh, this asset has about 162.9% of of upside potential. So definitely the upside potential for NEO is huge and we have to passionately wait until we'll see the trend reversal. So and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys as I mentioned on my previous video uh, this movement to the downside doesn't give you a chance uh, to enter your swing trade position because we don't have uh, enough confirmation of new uptrend we don't have uh, higher highs and higher lows this means this movement to the downside is the opportunity only for long-term investors and if you want to be this uh, type of investor just do your own due diligence and if you realize all the risks related to uh, chinese companies in general and new in particular you can accumulate your position on every daily red candle and uh, let me show you that the price targets uh, as from the technical standpoint are still the same. It is a $24.4 dollars, this previous swing high, and uh, right here uh, $26.6 dollars. And from our current price, this asset might give you up to 53% to the first point and uh, up to 64.62% to the second price target. And in my opinion, it is a very, very lucrative uh, setup. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby,